This is the superglottic airway station using a King Airway. Ensure that you have all the equipment that you need and that you have checked it so you are familiar with how to use it. To begin the station, I have my appropriate personal protective equipment. I have my gloves and I have glasses. I am on scene with a patient that is apneic but has a strong carotid pulse and no other life threats are identified. At this point, I will <clears throat> open up the airway using a cross finger technique. Do not see anything in the airway and I will insert the appropriate size oral pharyngeal airway and begin ventilating my patient. I will ventilate one breath every five to six seconds. I've attached my pulse ox and I know that it is 85%. So I'm going to attach my bag valve mask to oxygen at 15 liters per minute and continue ventilating my patient. Medical direction is said to insert a superglottic airway, so I'm going to turn my ventilation over to my partner and let him continue to ventilate while I check my equipment. I have the appropriate size King airway. I'm going to attach my syringe and on the side of the airway it says 60 to 80 milliliters of air. So I'm going to get that on my syringe and then test the balloons. I'm seeing that they are inflating and there is no leakage, they're not going flat, so this one is ready to use. I will then remove the air, leave the syringe, atta syringe attached so I have it ready. I have my confirmation device and I'm going to lube the tip of the airway. I am now ready to insert it, so my partner will stop ventilations. We'll remove the OPA using a jaw tongue lift. I will clear the airway and insert this until I meet resistance. Doesn't want to go any further. At that point, I will then inflate the bulbs, remove the syringe, attach my end title seal to, and begin ventilating. I will let my partner to continue to ventilate while I listen over the epigastrum to make sure I have no air entering the stomach and then over each lung field to confirm placement. In addition, I am noting that my end tidal CO2 is turning yellow. And remember, gold is good, purple is bad. So when it's turning yellow, that's good. If it was purple or cyanotic, then I would be in the wrong place. I can also verify oxygen saturation. I see that that's now 95%. So I'm going to go ahead and let my partner continue to ventilate at one breath every five to six seconds while I secure my tube. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to remove the bag valve mask. The tube holder will clamp around the tube and the bite block will go in the patient's mouth. Comes around and then velcros back on itself, ensuring that it's not too snug around the neck. And then I can begin to tighten the tube holder and if it's in place. Sometimes the King Airway, you have to have a little bit of a pullback before you finally secure it. And then I will continue to ventilate one breath every five to six seconds, ensuring adequate chest rise, pulse oximetry, and then my CO2 is still showing that I'm in place. Then we will transport.